So it's been so long since I've done an update or a video really on here. Let me explain. <laughs> I feel like it's been so long since I made a video. So this is like weird, but it's not weird because this is what I've done. Is, okay. Anyways, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. I'm Crystal O. If you are new here, um, what's popping? Um, glad you're here. Uh, lots and lots have changed. So. Today is your update day. If you um, maybe just found my video circulating and just decided to subscribe, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, hopefully today you'll get to learn a little bit more about me. If you have been writing with me since I was Crystal's Diary, welcome, okay? You are a real OG. You are an elder here, so um, shout out to you. But anyways, y'all, I have some crazy updates for y'all. I mean, not crazy, but a lot of updates like a lot has changed like life is different okay like it's so different right now so as you can see on the title we are now homeowners so we bought a freaking new house guys like a brand new home so um i am so excited to um, begin that journey of just um, sharing with you guys content of projects we're working on in the home and also just the process of home ownership or to home ownership um it definitely was a lot a lot that i really didn't feel prepared for um in the process of buying a home but through that, me and my husband both did learn a lot, so we would love to share with you guys just kind of how all that went and just kind of sharing with you the wisdom we have and our suggestions for home ownership and giving our reasons why we bought a home at this time. Um, so our home did take a little while to get built. It, it took a, around, maybe, no, 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 it did not take a while to get built. It took like three to four months for it to become done. So we moved in about two weeks ago and it's been really, really exciting just getting to like do new projects. Like my life is completely like everywhere right now. Like I'm looking at everywhere else and I'm like, yikes, who's gonna organize this? But we're still getting stuff fitted in where it needs to go. I'm still kind of working on decor and stuff like that. So eventually I'm very excited to um, share with you guys kind of more pieces of just kind of the accents or decor areas in the home. So if you are not following me on Instagram, follow me because I post a lot of that stuff on there. I'm currently working on Crystal's Island. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you would know what I'm talking about, but Crystal's Island is basically my island and I have a picture of it on there as well that kind of shows and explains why it's called Crystal's Island. So that's been a huge life update for us. I mean, moving, home shopping amidst COVID um, and just kind of all types of stuff. I mean, it's been huge. So um, I'm excited to continue that journey with you guys as we are, you know, on this little COVID at home quarantine, work from home, work is kind of in this messy middle of life right now. So hopefully this will provide some entertainment, some education, some insight, some encouragement for you um, with this little journey here. So that's my first update guys um it's exciting i mean to be a homeowner at all like before 30 i think that was like not really a goal but ideally for me kind of like i feel like before 30 i did want to own a home that's kind of exciting for me so i'm really blessed and thankful to god for just like providing the opportunity and just providing the resources financially for us to um purchase our first home next up let's move on i have a list literally i have a list because i really need to make sure i'm on track here um, lots of updates, so <laughs> gotta make sure I'm really, you know, I'm doing what I need to do here. Okay, so the next one is my skincare journey. So again, if you follow me on Instagram, I did talk about the skincare journey that I'm on um, and the struggles that I was having with my skin. Um, it's gotten a little better, as you can see. I don't have as much inflammation. I'm currently using a product that I'm hoping to reveal and share soon enough once I kind of get the you know, results that I'm looking for and kind of can give better feedback to it. I'm really excited to share that with you all just so if you're having issues as well, which I did find a lot of my followers on Instagram were having issues with their skin during this time, it'd be really helpful for you maybe. 
maybe. But nonetheless, ever since COVID started, my skin had been cutting up. Like my skin had been disrespectful. Like when we talk about disrespect, my skin is the definition of disrespect. It turned on me, like betrayed me, and it just kept breaking out around my cheeks. And I know people say, oh, it's mask knee, this new thing called mask knee, where your masks can basically give you a breakout. But I was like, dude, like we're living in a pandemic. Like I have to wear a mask and I'm not gonna go protest against a mask because I'm, I'm breaking out. But it was just frustrating that the mask was causing that. And I'm not gonna lie, like for me personally, like acne or facial blemishes, they really like take a hit at my confidence sometimes because it's like, oh my gosh, like there's these blemishes on my face and, and you know, it hurts and it's not, I'm not used to having it there. So it was really hard for me to get adjusted, to get comfortable. Um, I did feel like I was hiding from like Instagram or I feel like I was hiding from YouTube. I wasn't comfortable sharing or being present with my face on, on things because of my acne. But you know, at some point I just felt like, dude, you gotta get over it. Like you just gotta use it as your strength. You gotta use it to encourage other people. And that's basically what I did. Like I think last week or so on my Instagram, I just posted a picture and then I posted my acne because it is what it is. We're humans, right? And I think as influencers, it's easy to feel like I'm supposed to have this cookie cutter life and everything's supposed to be perfect and things are supposed to be going great. But the thing is, the truth is that influencers have human problems too. So. No matter who you're looking at or watching or admiring or like thinking their life is super perfect, like no, 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 no. So the comparison game is such a trap. It's so tricky and it can be so deceiving because you're seeing something, but it's not the reality of it. So use me as an example that everyone's life isn't perfect or all influencers' lives aren't perfect because we're humans too. We have human problems. Um, and yeah, that's just, it is what it is. And you just gotta keep living because there are bigger things to be worried about like catching COVID. So, you know, um, I'm definitely keeping myself balanced with, okay, I want a cure for my acne, but I also know that I'm blessed in where I am and with what I have. So, um, yeah, so that's basically the journey that I'm on. I plan to post more on my skincare journey, maybe even posting a night routine or a morning routine or just kind of going more in depth with skincare on here because I haven't really done that in the past because I didn't really need to do much to my skin because it was just like perfect. Like literally, like my skin was like great. So now I'm like freaking out because I now I actually have to like have skincare and be mindful of like items. But that's a good thing, you know, it's a good thing. So um I'm excited to just kind of share my knowledge and my experiences with you all, um, as well as hopefully educate you inspire you, encourage you through your journey and not to feel so alone because I know I felt so alone when my skin started breaking out. I felt like I'm overreacting. People are gonna think I'm crazy if I share that my skin is like what's causing me the most like tension and concern right now or whatever else but um you're not alone in that you're not alone in the feeling of wanting to hide and all that kind of stuff um i definitely have been there so that's basically our journey that i'm looking forward to taking you guys on my skin has gotten a lot better thank god but there is still work to be done so um i'm very excited to share that with you all all right, so the next thing on here is that y'all, a few months ago, crazy enough, uh, my husband and I were driving and we were talking about like fostering a dog, right? And we're talking about fostering a dog, uh, we just saw like these two dogs like eating foil by a church. So we were like really confused because we we're like, okay, like surely like someone's near and they own them or something. So eventually we like drove over to where the church was and parked and we're like, these dogs are like legit eating foil. And so we walked up, well my husband, I didn't walk up to them. My husband walked up to the dogs and they seemed quite friendly and they didn't seem like too much of a threat. So I eventually got out of the car and like started walking a little like around and so this lady and she was like staring at us really hard. I was like, oh maybe it's her dog, right? So I'm like asking her like, hey, like is this your dog? Are, are these your dogs? And she was like, no, they're strays. They've been walking around here for a while. So that's when my husband and I were like, man, like look at God 
go, look, what? Like, that was quick. You know, exp expedited prayers being answered, okay? It was like an Amazon Prime delivery for a prayer or a thought or like a wish, right? We ended up taking the dogs home with us and my sister came over to help me wash the dogs up. They had all these like fleas on them. It was, it was really bad. And they had like, you know, some sort of like, just kind of cut on their like, not cut, but like a burn on their neck. They were a little, you know, malnourished, a little skinnier. Um, but we took them in and we started searching for their owners. So we asked around, we posted and did all kinds of stuff. Um, and my husband and I will share more with you guys about that journey in another video, a full video. Their names are Cream and Coco and they are the sweetest puppies, like, they're just sweet. But they are work, they are work, but they're sweet, so. Cream and cocoa. One is creamish colored. Um, they're both girls and um, they're just the sweetest. So it's been a great, like, I guess, gift almost. Um, but it's been fun having them, like, as a part of our family. So we are officially dog parents. And um, in that next video we'll do, we'll kind of talk about the adoption process and you know how that all worked out and how just kind of what it's been like to have dogs around or in the home and our perspective of just like owning dogs. And my husband got some deep revelation about you know, the dogs on the first day we got them and it was pretty cool. So maybe he can share that then. But we do have two dogs, we own them now. They are adopted um, and they are just, <laughs> they they make our life like 10 times more interesting. <laughs> Kid you not, they're just fun, but they're work. <laughs> but anyways, um, it's been great. So if you're a dog mom out there, dog dad out there, I, what's up, what do you do? I get it, like we in this together and we had two. We got two dogs, not one, but um, it's been great. All right, so the next update is that I started a business, y'all. Your girl is an entrepreneur, mm? Entrepreneur babe, entrepreneur things, you know? <laughs> but um, I started a merch collection, a collection of clothing um, that I felt extremely inspired to begin about a year ago. Um, it was a process. And y'all, when I say that when I launched these shirts, they were gone, like gone. Like they were sold out, booked and busy. It was a wrap. Like I was like, oh my gosh. So it's crazy just how God shows up and just like amazes you even in your doubt. And I am just like appreciative of all the love, the support. I mean, not just even support like, yay, go Crystal, but like, no, putting your money where your mouth is and like supporting me in that manner. So it's been really cool just getting to like see people wear the shirts, tag me in the shirts, seeing orders coming in. And of course now, you know, we're sold out. So there will be a relaunch. I also did start our website. So make sure you are subscribed to our website. I will have blogs up on there. I will have, you know, my merch on there. I will have a bunch of stuff on there. So make sure you are subscribed so that you stay in the loop of what's to come on there because I do have a lot of exciting stuff in store. I'm always plotting, I'm always planning. What? I'm always, I'm always doing something that's for the future. So something new is coming and you want to be in the loop for when it drops, okay? You just wanna be, okay? You just wanna be. But anyways, um, that was super awesome. The shirts are set to be restocked by August 1st. So collect your coins, you know, put them together, you know, gather them, whatever you wanna use, whatever terminology you wanna have, save, budget, whatever. The shirts are coming and they're gonna be restocked and hopefully, I mean, hopefully they sell out, but I hope that you get a shirt before they sell out. So um, hopefully that's the plan, let's make it happen. All right, so as you might hear soon, the dogs have started barking. I'm gonna take them out for a potty break very soon. But um, the last one, y'all, oh my gosh. The one that like shook me to my core, truly, truly, was that I made this a Sephora Squad. And I know you guys are like, Crystal, you've been posting about it like for months on your Insta. Some people on here don't follow me on Instagram because they don't have an Instagram account, which you probably should make one just so you can, you know, get up to date on my life or whatever. But, um, you don't really have to. But, um, yeah, I made this a forest Scott. So guys, thank you so, 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 so much for your support because I know, I remember when I listed my finalist, I made a video 
and I was just like shaking and like so anxious and like, can you guys go write me a testimonial? I'm trying to make it into the support of God. And like, look at what God did. Like, just look at what God did. And I just kind of wanted like a second to just go on a little sermonette or just kind of give a little message here or whatever. So I want to just go ahead and park on this last one real quick because I really think it's important that I take this moment to inspire someone out there that may feel unseen, that may feel unheard, that may feel overlooked, that may feel discouraged because they don't have what it takes or they feel like they don't have the equipment or the resources or the following or whatever it might be. Like y'all, like, God blew my mind with the Sephora squad. God blew my mind with getting me into the Sephora squad. God blew my mind with showing me how supported I am by my subscribers, by the C squad, by my followers. It's just been this amazing like epiphany of, oh my gosh, like with God, you can legit do anything. Like anything, the sky is, no, beyond the sky, beyond the sky is your limit like and i was shook that i even doubted god like through the process of the sephora squad like oh you know i don't have enough a big enough following or i don't i'm not like a makeup artist pro you know sephora squad like so sephora squad 2020 that's like what so don't you dare doubt your giftings and doubt yourself and whatever god has deposited within you those giftings are for a purpose and for a reason he didn't just accidentally give you a gift and say whoops i guess she's gonna be really talented in that for no good reason like no they're for a purpose and for his glory and i just wanted to encourage you like y'all i was so intimidated like people in the sephora squad have like hundreds and hundreds of thousands of like followings and oh i just spent a little bit sorry hundreds and hundreds of thousands of followings and you know all types of stuff and like i'm like little old me that's like under 10k like what so all that to say y'all those negative thoughts the doubtful thinking all that stuff is for the birds all that stuff is for the birds don't be limited by what you can see and based off of what you think you have because at the end of the day god always has so much more in store for us we can only plan some part of our way, but the Lord actually cements it. The Lord actually makes it rooted and establishes it. So I didn't have Sephora Squad on my map this year at all. I didn't even know it was happening. Literally heard about it because another influencer that I follow posted it. And I'm like, oh, that must be for like people who have like, you know, higher ups, like followings and have managers and this and that. No. And so I read the, I read the fine lines and it literally said, anyone can apply micro influencers macro influencers and i was like lord i don't know <laughs> literally was like sick to my stomach after i hit submit but god works in crazy faithful ways guys and i just wanted to come on here and just like end this video with that to just encourage you like seriously seriously encourage you not even to just like kind of fake encourage you like I know I, I I'm the I'm I'm that girl and I have a million subscribers and that's why I'm in Sephora squad like no no like I'm not that girl so yeah I just wanted to end this video with encouraging you to chase after whatever it is that you want at the end of the day if you don't apply for that thing if you don't do that thing if you don't ask for that thing the answer will still be no. And that's what I told myself throughout the process. Like the answer will still be no if I don't do this. But I have to do this to know if it'll be yes. Even if it's no, that's fine. It still would have been no if you didn't do it. So what's, what difference does it make? You know, so it took a lot of humility out of me to ask for testimonials. It took a lot of humility out of me to just like, just not know and just trust God and just, Trust that he's working, and even if I got it or not, that he would still be good. So that's basically all of the updates that I'm currently going to share for this video. I think that's basically it for the most part. Yeah, basically all the updates. Um, so if you guys enjoy this video, 
Um, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new and just stumbled upon this video and want to learn more about my life and what I do. Um, yeah, subscribe for more. Um, so I will catch you guys in another video very soon. My goal is to become more consistent and more constant on the tube, on YouTube now. So um, that's the plan. But if you don't see me, just know that I'm doing some crazy work around the house and it's just crazy. But the plan is just to post that, post raw stuff of you just around the house arranging stuff. Right now I'm sitting up my YouTube room and maybe I can show you guys maybe the process of it and when it's done, so things like that. But anyways y'all, it just started raining so you might start hearing the of the rain. But I'm gonna go ahead and sign out and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!